What up, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm going to show you my team uh, that I have been using for Division Rivals. I might sell it to get some profit. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but first of all, as you can see, I have completed the Assist Mastery Premium Pitch Trophy. I've done everything within that. Uh, getting 100 assists in 100 different matches and the 500 assists with a squad rating of 85 plus for that i used squad battles as i said in a previous video uh, on beginner and was winning like 37 nil every time that sort of thing between 30 and 40 goals uh, but the rest of it you know quite easy to be honest uh, 200 times with rare players easy 100 midfield passes all, all of this you're going to do throughout time maybe you have to you know with the crosses with 25 games just Try and remember to cross it in, but crossing is quite good. This uh, FIFA 50 times with midfielders, easy assist in 10, uh, 25 passes with goal players, 100 assists in uh, you know 100 separate matches, quite easy. Uh, we've also almost finished the finishing mastery. I just need the overhead kick, the free kicks, which will take a while. That's the only one that's nowhere near, and then the 40 uh, volleys, which again isn't quite. Uh, close I suppose I, I'm not as close as I thought I was uh, to be perfectly honest but hey ho that is one of the milestones already completed I hope they do update it uh, I'm not gonna lie it, it's fun it's great but they need to do more of this throughout the year instead of leaving it dead as fuck for the rest of the year anyhow um, this is the team that I have been using in rivals gotta say I absolutely love every single player in this team uh, particularly for a you know not even day one squad that that's uh, what's uh, quite incredible with the assist mastery I've managed to do it before the official release of FIFA which while I'm recording this is tomorrow you might see this video after I'm recording it on Thursday it'll probably go up on Saturday something like that but anyhow we've got Courtois in net he was bought for 38,000 coins I think this team is roughly about 1 million coins uh, he's went up a little bit uh, I think he's about 45 now. We got Juan Basaka for about 33,000 coins. Again, chem styles I'll run through as well. Okay, uh, seems as though he's dropped a little bit, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but he might go up again uh, following the release. Joe Gomez, how much is he at the minute? He's probably around about 90k at the minute, so I'll, I'll make some nice profit on him. Of course, we packed Varane um, in our squad battles rewards best player I've packed so far and I think he's about 250 okay he's dropped slightly he's about 230 uh, Benjamin Mendy uh, sorry Benjamin Mendy Ferland Mendy uh, 67k for him he he's just phenomenal he really is uh, and yeah I mean he's going to be the most meta left back I think this FIFA uh, so his price will stay high for quite a while because everyone will be trying to get him for the foot champ squad Fabinho, absolutely brilliant. I've put that shadow on him just to make sure he's boosted his pace. He's got great defending, great physical, very, very tall, and his tackle is extremely strong in-game. Again, he's about what I've paid for him, uh, maybe slightly less. Again, people are panic selling because um, I'm recording this just after Rivals rewards have came out, so that's why the prices may have uh, dropped a little bit. Oh, wow. I've made some decent profit on Pogba by the looks of it. I think he's about 230k. I bought him for 193. Uh, ignore the goals and assists as well because I've been doing that assist and finishing mastery. Uh, yeah, the, the stats are just ridiculous because of that, of course. Um, 57,000 and Wijnaldum is extinct at 60k. Wow. Okay, well, he was extinct at 35k as well when I was trying to uh, snipe him. Havert, probably my favourite player I've used this FIFA so far, bar Mbappe, who was in draft, uh, who I do want to get eventually. Bought him for 85k when he was price capped. Now he's going for something around about 130. Uh, then we got Anthony. Oh, sorry. We got Anthony Martial. As you can see, ridiculous goals contribution there. 249 goals and 255 assists in 71 games. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely hilarious, but I bought him for 130k when he was extinct, and now he's extinct at 150k. Sorry, I bought him at 120, so I can sell him uh, for profit, but I think I'm going to wait until the release tomorrow. And then we've got Timo Werner, who I bought when he was extinct at 200k. He's about 250 as well, so as I say, give or take, this team is around about a million, uh, a million coins. Ridiculous goal <laughs> contribution as well. But again, a lot of that is, of course, squad battles. Some of it's rivals, of course, because uh, I finished all 30 games of that. And then in terms of the bench players, we've got Dembele, 
bought for around 60. I'm just intrigued to see what the prices are. He's about the same as what I paid. Bale, who I did pack, uh, I originally bought one for about 80k. Yeah, and he's he's roughly about the same. Again, these sort of players will, it's hard to judge. They'll be out of packs when they get their one to watches. Uh, players like Bale and Thiago, but you know, I, I don't know what that's going to do to their price on the market. And Didi bought for around 30k, I think, and yeah, he's he's slightly less now. Memphis, I bought when he was 50k extinct, sorry, 40k extinct, and now he's about 40k. Okay, fair enough, haven't really made too many much on him. Thiago, when he was 27k, he's rose to about 45, which is good. I'm just going to confirm, yeah him for 27 Valverde is untradeable Zaha was extinct at 24k probably not anymore and he's going probably for about 24k fair dues uh Donny van der Beek uh van der Beek however you say it uh bought for 25k and yeah he's a little bit less so I probably should have offloaded these Alex Tellers I'm very excited to get his United card um, I'm going to keep this Porto one because eventually it'll become rarer and rarer. But yeah, that, that's the team that I've been using at Rivals. As I say, I might sell it for profit. Um, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I think the best time to sell would be tomorrow. Probably just before the ones to watch promo drops. So I will decide. If I do, then I'll show you whatever new team I also have built uh, in this episode. But yeah, what do you think? I think this team is absolutely phenomenal. All the chem styles, of course. Um, I didn't actually put a chem style on Courtois. I bought him with Catalyst already on. He seems really good, so I'm just going to leave that. We've got Anka on both Gomez, Wambasaka, and Varane. We've got Sentinel on Mendy because he doesn't need that pace boost, but he does need defending and physical quite highly. Shadow for Fabinho, of course, he needs pace. Box-to-box -box midfielders, Wijnaldum and Pogba. I've just left on basic because, you know, a, a slight boost in every attribute for a box-to-box -box I think is perfect. we got Artist on Havertz to boost up that uh, passing and, uh, is it dribbling? Yeah, passing and dribbling. And then we've got Deadeye for Werner because he doesn't need pace, uh, so dribbling and shooting for him. And Martial with Hunter because he does need a little bit of pace and shooting has boosted quite a lot as well. So let me know what would you change, what things would you be uh, do differently. And this will either be the end of the video or I will show you me selling this team and getting a new one when and if that happens. Well, after my ridiculous pack opening, if you haven't seen it, it's on the channel. My God, that is the best pack opening I've done in God knows how long, certainly on FIFA 21. But anyway... After that, I've decided to sell a lot of the players that we've got, as you can see here, Courtois, De Gea, Pogba, Thiago, pardon me, Memphis, Havertz, Werner, Zayek, uh, Ndidi, Bergwijn, uh, Dembele, Van der Beek, Zaha, Gabriel Jesus, uh, Joe Gomez and Gareth Bale have all been sold. So we're going to clear all them. Um, overall, I made a little bit of profit. I probably should have sold earlier or waited. Pardon me. The only reason I didn't wait is purely because I want to get Mbappe. And for some reason, my TV was going to turn down there. Anyway, because uh, I want to get Mbappe ASAP. So, yeah, I'm just trying to snipe him, as you can see. Uh, I can get him for 1.1, but if I can get him for a little bit cheaper, that would be great. Uh, okay, slightly cheaper than that would be even better. Uh you know, I, ju I just want to try and get him for as cheap as possible, but he will rise. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, then, I mean, the title kind of spoils it anyway, but um, I'll give you a couple of seconds and then I'll, I'll tell you, but it's worth watching. My reactions are absolutely insane because uh, I just didn't expect what I got. But anyhow, enough times passed now. I did pack Neymar and I also got untradeable Virgil van Dijk. Uh, who goes straight into my team. I will show you my team straight after I purchase Mbappe. Uh, as I say, I'm trying to get him for as cheap as I possibly can. Um, but I I'm fairly certain when Champs comes around, Mbappe will rise again. Uh, but I want to keep him for Champs. I want to try and get the best possible rewards I can. Uh, and yeah, that'll be... That'll be that, but once I've got him, I will uh, show you my team. And we've managed to get him for 1.075, uh, so I saved myself 25k, but there we go, Kylian Mbappe is in the club, I'm very, very excited with that. So I'll show you the team that I have built, um, and uh, yeah, what improvements I want to get eventually. But yeah, this team is just ridiculous. Uh, 
yeah so we're gonna get rid of the loan and we're gonna get the purchased but yeah there we go so we've got Mbappe Neymar I haven't got the chem styles ready for the for this team and also my uh, my tactics I think what I will do is switch to the 4 one 2 2 narrow have Neymar as a cam with Martial and Mbappe up front obviously Fabinho will be the CDM with Valverde and uh, Wijnaldum as the central midfielders that defense is practically complete I might get rid of Juan Basaka and get uh, Nelson Semedo though in fact yes that's exactly what I'm going to do so we'll see how much I can get for Juan Basaka as much as I like him uh, for United in terms of FIFA he isn't as fast as uh, Nelson Semedo so we're going to get rid of him and get uh, him unfortunately Ter Stegen is uh, untradeable or else I would try and sell him but I think what I might eventually do is try and get someone like Salah for Martial or, well, that's actually the only player I could get to keep the chemistry. Um, of course, I could get someone off chem. I could get uh, maybe a, a Sterling, that sort of thing. But anyhow, that's going to be my team with Semedo going into uh, foot chubs. So what do you think? I got some incredible luck finally after spending 36,000 FIFA points. Finally, we got some luck and we've got a 2.5 million team at least. This this might be even 3 million really because Neymar and Mbappe is 2 million. Van Dijk's half a million. Yeah, it's a 3 million coin team. That is insane. This is the quickest I have ever accelerated on FIFA 21. But anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.